Imagine waking up, finding every pipe in your building is clogged. Water stops. The whole place grinds to a halt. Offices, kitchens, everything. Chaos. That's exactly what happens to companies when their data pipelines break. No dashboards, no reports, no business decisions. Revenue stops flowing. And that's why, even as other tech roles are being cut, companies are scrambling to hire the people who can fix and future-proof those pipes. Forget about shiny new apps or AI models. When your data plumbing fails, everything stops. That's why people who build and maintain these pipelines, the data engineers, are seeing demand skyrocket in 2025. Let's kill the biggest myth. Tech is dead. AI is taking over. It's pointless to learn data. That is recycled panic. The truth, AI, cloud, and compliance are all creating more demand for data engineers, not less. Don't let the Twitter doomers or headline chasers convince you otherwise. Let's look at the facts. Data engineering markets are set to double over $187 billion by 2030. U.S. data engineering salaries, they're up 8% just in the last 12 months, even as software rolls flatline. 72% of Fortune 500 companies have increased data engineering headcount in 2025. Sectors like healthcare, logistics, and finance are hiring data engineers twice as fast as software developers. You don't cut back on plumbers during a housing boom. You double down. Same goes for data engineers. Let's make it real. A friend of mine works at a global logistics company. The CEO wanted predictive AI for shipping times, but data pipelines, they, they were a mess. Who saved the project? Not the data scientists. It was the engineering team who had to re-architecture everything. They fixed the flows and delivered the business value. That result, three new data engineer hires, while other teams, they froze their headcount. Here are three things nobody has told you about data engineering and this boom that is here. AI adoption flops without data engineers. 80% of failed AI projects in 2024 were blamed on bad data pipelines, not models. Data engineering is the bottleneck. Non-tech companies are the biggest hires. The fastest growth isn't in Silicon Valley. It is in healthcare, logistics, government, and retail. Every sector is hiring data engineers, not just tech. Globalization and remote. Remote first means top data engineers get offers from across the world, not just in their city. The market is wide open. Flashback to 2015, when being a data engineer meant moving CSVs and maybe building some dashboards. In 2025, you're building automated pipelines, enabling AI, feeding billion row tables, handling compliance. The skill set and the pay have completely changed. And as it does, over my 25 years, this industry has changed at least three times. At least every seven to 10 years, it feels like a whole new job. And that's part of the excitement of being in these roles. This isn't just theory. Every week I hear from viewers in retail, manufacturing, and government who say, our startup cut developers, but just hired two new data engineers. My company replaced ETL analysts with a real data engineering team to fix this reporting chaos. This isn't a coastal tech bubble, it's everywhere. So here's a quick reality check. In 2020, US entry-level data engineers their average was about 95K. In 2023, it rose to 120. In 2025 so far, we're looking at 130 plus for new grads and 150 to 180 for those mid-career engineers in top markets. This is one field where every year brings a bigger paycheck. So what's fueling all this? There's a handful of reasons. One, the AI gold rush. Every new model or dashboard needs cleaner, faster pipelines. Cloud modernization. 
companies are tearing out old on-prem systems and rebuilding the cloud. Every migration needs engineers. Compliance. New laws mean new pressure to do data right, not just fast. There's skill gaps out there. There just aren't enough real, educated, and experienced data engineers to go around. If you're building the roads, you always have work. If you're just riding along, you're replaceable. The people building data infrastructure are the ones powering everything. AI, analytics, real-time insights, and so much more. Bottom line here, data engineering is the best kept secret in tech right now. If you're already in, you're ahead of the curve. If you're not, the door is pretty much wide open and the party is only getting bigger. What's the biggest myth you've learned about data? Are you seeing hiring in your industry or are you seeing layoffs? I want to feature real comments and stories in my next video, so be sure to drop your stories below and join in the conversation. And if you want to ride the wave and not just watch it, be sure to check out this video here that walks you through all the skills and tools that you need to learn to break into data engineering today.